Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 4 of our FM19 early release save. We are playing as Rangers in the Ladbrokes Premiership in Scotland. This is a good sign. We are starting to get some of our guys back into form. So I'm like, oh yay. Now, uh, we did lose uh, since the last time I recorded. Yesterday, we've lost Borna Barisic, uh, a Twisted Ankle, uh, Eros Gredza, and who else got hurt? Nigo got hurt. Our striker got hurt, but he was only out for a couple of days. Let's take a quick look at where we have been. So let's see. We did Aberdeen. That was the last one. So we edged Feyenoord in the uh, Euro Cup. one nothing. Lee Wallace with a goal. And then we beat St. Mirren 2-0. Uh, Ajaria and Alfredo Morelos on a penalty in the 83rd minute gave us a 2-0 win. Uh, we drew with Feyenoord in the second leg. Uh, Umar Sadiq with a late goal in stoppage time for the equalizer. And that gave us the 2-1 aggregate advantage to advance to face Zenit. So we're coming back today to play Aloha in the Betford Cup. And I guess we'll play Zenit here in a couple of days. Uh, I did want to thank, uh, let's see, I want to make sure I get his name. Bear with me just a second. I should have had this pulled up, but I hadn't thought about it. Uh, Jab, J-A-B, Jab. Uh, Jab is evidently, uh, well, he's one of my followers. I don't know if he subscribed or not, but uh, he uh, watched the video and he appears to be a, uh, a fan of the club. So he appears to be a Rangers fan. So thank you for watching the video, Jab. He had suggested that we bring up this youngster, 16-year-old Andy Halliday, because he can play a ton of positions. Now, in fairness, I recorded three episodes last night. So, episode three, does episode two went up today, this morning. That's what he replied to. Episode three is already in the box, but it goes up tomorrow. So, by the time you see this, you'll have seen episode three, hopefully. I had already called Halliday up. But it was nice that somebody, you know, that's an actual fan of the team that knows their players uh mentioned him and brought him to my attention why did i think he was 16 years old he's 26 didn't it say he was 16 oh that's his number i i yeah i don't want that shit that's what i want holiday where you at there you are 26 so yes Pr and and so i guess that should be just a tip i suggest before you start playing Go into your reserves or your U23s and see if there's anybody stuck down there that could help your bigger club. Uh, Halliday, a perfect example. I don't know why I was that 16 jumped out and I thought he was 16 years old. But anyway, he is an average player, but he has some decent enough skills that he can fill in. And he's already made uh, three starts for us in the Euro Cup this year. And he's playing a 697, so he's he's certainly doing well. I will ask you to forgive the dog. The dog needs to learn that he needs to stay outside for more than 20 seconds because he runs out, pees, and then wants to come back in the house. And, you know, he needs to get some fresh air and some sunshine and run around in the grass. And, you know, he needs to do that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. So let's go to the home page. Um... Oh, that, yeah. Okay, inbox. So this is what I wanted to show you today, just that we do have some players coming back. All right, so we're playing Aloha. We are the home team. This is the second round. We are favorites. We have five players still out injured, two doubtful players. I'll be happy to get Barisic back. And we just started having some breakdowns uh, with just overplaying but there was just nothing i could do there all right so we're going to go with our primary tactic the 4141 attacking i have set up a guideline so we'll we'll take a look at that basically it's seniors and reserves at least 90 percent condition and that way it will bounce anybody 
um, that is not 90%. So we should be able to look down here, and yes, we have a 92, a 91, a couple of 91s. Uh, I do want to bring in Sadiq is 93. I'm going to bring him in for Morelos. And... Nigeria, 97. Koulibaly's back from his injury. Kadic, you know, he is, I want to, I want to see if I can develop him more as a, uh, let's see, defensive mid regista support. All right, so we're, we're going to start there. That's that's what I needed to do. That's what I couldn't figure out yesterday. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to submit the team. Uh, I did. I do download an instant result because, like, friendlies I don't like to do. Um, and then in my personal save, you know, sometimes if I'm in a rush, because I don't have all the time in the world, uh, I do do the instant result. I don't spam, you know, save scum on those. Uh, it, you know, it is what it is. But I do instant result every once in a while, not on camera, of course. But sometimes if I've got to get through six or eight games, I don't have three or four hours to play. Uh, so sometimes I have to instant result a few games, especially once I start getting the hang of the team and what they can do. Uh, that is uh, something I do. So that actually came up today. Uh, I did find one that came out today. It's not the one that I usually use. But they, they do a good job uh, adding that in. They've done it for the last ah, four or five versions, I think. So uh, do this for the fans and kick off. Um, nothing still on the Steam Workshop. All right, we are in uh, our blue kits. That Feyenoord uh, match was one that we got dominated in possession we did play with the uh, the counterattacking 4141 and uh, got very lucky to win because we were 60 40 their favor time of possession. Liam Dick, second yellow card of the season. Don't be a dick, Liam. Oh, knocked away. Come on, boys. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Oh, dangerous through ball. Dangerous through ball. Tongue tie there. Beat the defense. That is one of the concerns with this tactic in the attacking form because we're playing that high line. And, I, I you know, I can already see that I'm going to have to get. Oh, there we go. Jack, his first goal of the season. And you know what? pause I gotta do it um, where do I do it at overview profile set nickname there we go Jack Ryan I'm a big Jack Ryan movie fan uh, Tom Clancy and all that so yeah he's Jack Ryan now Ryan Jack just sounds wrong so he's Jack Ryan all right, so they tried to clear it. It bounced off of Jerry, a right to Jack, who put it in the net. Very nice. And that gives us the one nothing lead. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, is he going to be sent off? Yes, straight red. Straight red on Holsgrove. Wait a minute. We didn't even get to take a shot? Come on, that should have been a highlight we saw, right? Oh, bummer. Uh, perils of complacency. And one of our guys looks stressed. Sorry about that. Koulibaly. What was that? Who's disinterested? Ajaria. Hello? Uh, concentrate. 
I mean, you know, you're disinterested. He kicked the ball straight out of play. Oh, Sadiq puts it off the woodwork, and I think it bounced off the keeper. I, I'm giving that as an own goal to the keeper. I don't think Sadiq should get credit for that. We got the goal. That's all that matters. All right, Sadiq, there's the header. Yeah, it bounced off the keeper. But that's cool. 2 nothing. 2 nothing. Lee Wallace overwhelmed by the feedback. And we have another flipping injury. Lower leg. So he's going to be out for two months with a broken leg. Shit. Uh, all right. Attacking left. All right. So we'll put, uh, we'll put Middleton up there. Confirm. And as soon as that pops up, we're going to make the other substitution. Hello? Hello? Seriously? What the hell? Okay. God. 20 minutes to get to make a sub? Are you kidding me? Thanks. All right, defensive right. All right, I'm going to play him on the left. Just has to do the job. And Halliday, I'm going to send you in for Caddick. So we're going to blow our subs there. Changed formation. Not much in the way of highlights. All right, they play it. I really like the new uh, the new graphics on the shots with the bending of the ball and stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, two nothing win. Very nice. Uh, hopefully Ryan Kent is not injured too badly. Dominated possession, twelve to two on shots. Uh, yeah, you can't do that, Gary. You gotta tell the guys something. I'm pleased. Yeah, you know, pat them on the head a little bit. All right. Um, three to five weeks. Well, we're gonna leave it to the physio. Three weeks. Glenn Middleton. Oh, through five to nine days. He came in for Kent, so that's both winger, two wingers hurt in one match. Wow, that is crazy. Uh, real quick, before we go to the next match, uh, I did I did bring in David Tidov Tite, uh, from Brentford on loan. He is a right back. Nothing fancy. He's got decent mentals. Uh, tackling technique, I mean, all those are serviceable. Uh, not the greatest player, but I got him on loan for nothing. I don't have to pay him anything. So, hell yeah, we needed some depth. And I've got uh, Perlaza. I had a loan agreement. Oh, actually, they rejected that. Perlaza, I had a transfer agreement. But I couldn't afford it because it was $3.1 million. It was the first one I made with my entire transfer budget. They finally accepted it, but he also failed his uh, work permit. He would have been stellar for us. So then I went back and tried to get a loan, and they said no. Uh, so he's out. Um, Ryan East is going to be coming in. He's going to be another Regista. So taking a look at him. Again, nothing stellar, but hopefully he can do the job. A little bit of uh, a little bit of depth. And then Ryan Porteus. We have an offer out. Central defender. Pretty pretty good. I mean, you know, there's a few things in his mentals, but uh, again, just depth. I'm just looking for bodies that can flip and walk at this point. 
Uh, honestly, so if you follow the channel from way back, so I've had the channel going for almost two years. So it'll be two years this holiday um, in, in uh, you know, late November. I'll have had my channel up for two years putting up content. I have played, I started playing football manager in FM 12. Then I did 14 and then uh, 15. And then I skipped 16, did 17. And I was going to skip 18 because I had, I, I had not really done any videos with 17. But then I said, you know what, I, you know, one thing I was never able to get into the game really long term. I'd play it. I, I didn't understand it. There was, you know, a lot going on. It's a pretty complicated game. You guys know that. And I said, you know what, if I do it on my channel and do some videos, that may help me figure out the game. And it may help keep me vested and get me some input from you guys, the viewers, to help me out. So I one of my first series was Help a Yank Out. And it was basically, hey, I'm playing this. I don't understand. I mean, I know the game of soccer, but I don't understand the game of football manager. And help me out. So, you know, I got a lot of feedback there, and it was really good. And that helped. So then I went ahead and uh, and started doing videos for 18 and uh, went ahead and bought 19 as well. So that's what brought me to today. So uh, all thanks to you guys. So let's come back for, uh, I guess, the first round. Do we come back for Zenit? Zenit is uh, the Russian Premier League. I don't know. Fourth qualifying round. So we're not in stages. This is just head-to-head -head competition. Um, they actually want us to reach the group stage, so we better beat Zenit, it appears. All right, so I guess we come back for Zenit. I will see you guys back here in a second. All right, we are back for our game with Zenit in the Euro Cup fourth qualifying round, first leg. That just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Uh, wet, 55 degrees, breezy. We are on the road and we are underdogs. So let's take a look at Zenit. They are playing a heavy defensive formation. We are the underdogs, so probably, but they don't have anybody up top, so we don't need a ton of people on defense, right? I think I'm going to go with this. And let's see, everybody's at 90 or better. That's good. Kadic, Kulabali, Jack Ryan. Nigo, Candeas, Morelos. All right. Uh, where is... I like Sadiq. McCrory. McCrory. I'm going to put... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to put McCrory in at Regista to start. And that leaves Caddick. Coming off the bench. All right, let's see. I've got a central defender, another central defender, defensive mid. Why do I have two goalkeepers? Just for shits and giggles? I have three goalkeepers on the bench. Seriously? Let's not do that. That doesn't seem a good plan. Of course, no, that's what it is. Nobody's healthy. All right, Barisic is out for a week, so no, I cannot bring him back. Um, right and left for Bradley. And then back to defense. Sadik is a striker. Mid center. And let's bring Palmer. There we go. 
So they probably won't play, but they're there if I need them late. Why the hell would you put, even with that, you shouldn't put three keepers on the freaking bench. Jesus. That's just stupid. <laughs> stupid is as stupid does, my mama always says. All right, dressing room. Yep, they're playing that five midfield, three center backs and five midfielders. Well, they're going to, shit. They're going to dominate the fudge puppies out of us on uh, in the midfield. But there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do, I don't think. So we'll just put the pressure. If it looks like we're getting outplayed early, I'll probably drop it into that uh, counter. And we are in white. There we go. William Wallace. We are running 88%, 76%. We're not getting down the field, though. Whoa. All right, so we are controlling the ball. Wallace, Kulabali. Oh, nice. Oh, it was tipped off. Nigo puts it in. Mev, who is that? Mel, Melvia? Mev, uh, I don't know. Mavia? Can't tell if that's an I or an L. Mavia. Uh, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, it tipped off of him. Who cares? Nigo with a nice play. It was some good ball movement up top, to be fair. I am very happy with that. We've only got one shot, though. That kind of sucks. Um, we're up to three. Okay, there we go. We're putting some pressure now. We're starting to break them down, it looks like. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, time out. Let's see if I can fix this. Um, is it here? Director, okay, that's just my camera. Okay, I don't want, I don't want that. Action zones, maybe? Yeah, I do like that. I thought there was something... No, not that. No. No. So definitely don't want that. No. Recent events. All right, I guess we go with that. I wanted to see, we used to be, able, last time we were able to get this, but with much better, uh, like, you know, woodwork. Oh, maybe that's on the, uh, when there's a replay going on. I don't know. We'll, we'll maybe wait and, okay, well, uh, excellent efforts. All right, here. Where's where's all my shit? All right, don't want that. Don't want that. Is it this? Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, match overview? No. Match information? No. Match stats? Yes. That's it. All right, so shots, clear cut, half chances, woodwork, fouls. I don't care about do we care about passes completed? Probably not. Average rating. On target. Clear cut. 
have uh, long shots. Do like that. Okay, let's try that. And then we can make that bigger. And we can do that. I like better, yeah. And then. Radar. Oh, neato. That's new. Match report. No. Player watch. No. All right. I think that's all I need. That's all I need while we're playing, right? Yeah, that should be good. All right. So five shots, two on target, two off. One long shot, 70 30 possession. Seven corners. So we're pressing the action. 90% passing. Okay. And all right. All right. We are complacent. One of our guys there. All right. Interception, a quick triangle. Koulibaly. I like Koulibaly. I think he's my early favorite player. I don't know why. Just is because. Crossed in. Header off the keeper. Candelas. First goal of the season. Travernier with the assist. And I think that was much like that goal last match where it went off the woodwork and then bounced off the keeper into the net. That is weird. I say we call VAR out and uh, ask them to check that. See if the keeper... See, we're only getting 3% down in the end, but that's all right. Okay, time, make a sub. All right, how are we doing? All right, Warall is a central defender. We're going to bring in McCauley for the yellow card. And 6-6, six, 6-5. Six, six, He's at 82%, though. McCrory, defensive mid. All right, we'll bring Caddick in. That'll be good for now. Oh, Morelos with the interception off the throw-in, and he shoots it from the next zip code. Wow. Interesting. I guess that was a play. Travernier picks up his first yellow of the season. He's at 65. He's playing an 8-3 with that assist. Uh, Kyle Bradley's at a 67, so that doesn't help as much. 64. Attacking mid. R field? I'm thinking R field. How about our field right there? That'll be our last sub of the game. Wallace. Oh, Bennett. What a save by the keeper. I, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. He almost overthrew his guy there. Koulibaly. Yes. Get in there. Second goal of the season, 3 nothing over Zenit. We were the underdogs here. Look, he almost overthrew Caddick. That was a horrible throw in. Koulibaly chested it down right to his feet. Pops the net. That's an interesting graphic on the net. Again, my dog is unhappy about being outside. Keep it... <laughs> I will tell you, just for full disclosure, I had to go pick up my son. We went to a, a air show event uh, for uh, the Make-A-Wish kids and uh, just got home a little while ago. So the dog was inside for a long time and just went outside. Again, he likes to go outside, do his business, and then he's like, if they don't let me in right away, I think they're getting rid of me. And we've had him for like two years. He was a rescue dog, like all of our animals. So... But, yeah, I guess he thinks we're getting rid of him if he's not inside. 
Jeez. But he's got to learn to be outside more than 45 seconds. A scoring streak. I don't know what that is. Let's see if I can uh, determine that. It doesn't tell me what the streak is. Hello? What's that a streak for? No? Maybe? Nothing? All right. It won't tell me. Anyway, let's take a quick look at the inbox. Shocked by the Superb Rangers. Excellent. Uh, Travernier, Stellar. Doesn't, oh, praise. There it is. Blends in down there at the bottom. Uh, defensive work. Thanks, boss. Uh, one of the other things, there's the new screen that comes up during training. And it doesn't come up every week, but you get one, you get like if you've had somebody with a good training session, you can praise them. If they've had a bad training session, you can critique them. And I think this is just my opinion in the early going, but you know how you can crit criticize someone's form in a game, but basically unless they're below a six, they always get real defensive and go, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I think I'm doing okay. Same thing if they're, if they're you know, because typically they've all been in a, you know, 6'4", 6'3", 9", you know, 6'5", you know. So, and if I critique them, they go, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm doing a great job. So, you know, it, it, it's only the negatives. The guys on the positive side, I haven't had any issues with praising them, saying, hey, I'm real proud of your training this week. Keep it up. Anyway, um, also transfer history. We just signed, uh, we had uh, shown you David Titov on loan. We just brought in Ryan East from uh, Reading on loan. He is not a goalkeeper. He is a defensive mid. Can actually play Regista pretty well. So that gives us a little bit more depth uh, in our squad. And again, taking a look at the medical center. So we've got not five major, three moderate, and one minor injury. Uh, most of these, keep in mind, were from the start. These are not guys that have gotten hurt like since we started playing. These are guys that are injured with uh, Rangers right out of the gate. So I don't know how the game determines that. I don't know if these guys are really hurt in real life, but man... They're, they're an interesting team to take over for sure. So he's out for a year, Murphy. Doran's uh, four to seven weeks. Uh, Rossiter, four to seven weeks. None of those guys have played a minute for me yet. Uh, Kyle Lafferty, a hip injury, three to seven weeks. Uh, Gresda pulled ankle ligaments another month or more. Ryan Kent. Now, Ryan Kent got injured on my watch up to three weeks. Flanagan, twisted ankle, two weeks. Barisic twisted ankle another week and a half. Glenn Middleton, a gash, uh, lower leg, one to two days. Those guys were basically just worn down. And you can see we've got very high injury risk uh, with the match load. We're not training very hard, um, but, you know, we do have a, a, a heavy match load. Uh, five matches in the last 14 days. That's stupid. So with all the injuries we've got is nasty. All right, taking a look here. So we are into the quarterfinals of the Bedford Cup. We will play Fofar Athletic. We are in the fourth qualifying round, second leg against Zenit. And I I don't know. How many? How many? Okay, so after this, we go into group stage, I think. Maybe. Hello? Don't know. No clue. We'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway, we're doing all right there. We've got the lead for, on Zenit from today, so we've got a possibility of moving ahead. Uh, Scottish Cup starts, well, thankfully, in January, so we should be back to full health with the exception of the guy out for the whole year. And we are 1-0-1 oh, in, uh, in the Premier. So, yeah. Got some ground to make up there. All right, let's see. Where do we come back at? Because um, we certainly want to try to get through some seasons here in the beta release uh, or the early re release stage. Uh, I think Zenit, we'll go ahead and play them off camera. Let's go ahead and maybe get into October. And let's come back for... 
Let's come back for maybe Hearts and Hamilton. Wouldn't mind playing Celtic, but we'll come back for Celtic towards the end of the season down here. We'll, we'll have them at least twice more. So, yeah, let's plan on that. Let's plan on getting through September, and I will come back at the beginning of October uh, with Hearts and Hamilton. Hopefully we've gone on a little bit of a run here. We also have the quarterfinals in the Bedford Cup in there. Guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this uh, start to the new season. Leave a like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.